Hi, this is Sean. In this video, I'm going to go over driving various visual elements with audio using After Effects. So I've got a whole audio composition broken into various tracks, which is very convenient because then we can use each of these various tracks to drive different objects. Um, so I'm just dragging those onto the stage here. And let's create a couple of shapes. We've got that and maybe a star. All right, great. And so now what we need to do is we need to convert the audio signal to some sort of uh, keyframes. And so uh, strings is a pretty, it's pretty core to this piece. So I'm gonna right click on that and go to the keyframe assistant and convert audio to keyframes. So now I've got this converted to keyframes, and so I'm going to name this layer. So that was strings keyframes, just so I can keep track of it. And then maybe we'll do the percussive effects. And let's just right click on the percussive effects, and we will go to the keyframe assistant and. So that's the percussive effects audio. And so now if I want to get these keyframes and have those drive various attributes in these shaped layers, so this is uh, the star shape. So at least that'll help me understand which shape is which. And so let's maybe drive the um, some type of scale with the star with the effects audio. So I'm going to show the keyframes on the effects audio by hitting the U key. And I can show, I want to modify some of the transform attributes of the star shape with the effects audio. So in order to do that, I can hold down the Alt key and click on the scale. And that creates the this expression editor where when the expression editor also has this thing called the pick whip. So with a pick whip, I can go in and select the, um, you know, the effects audio. But you can see the effects audio right now in this song is it's 0.14, so it's very low. So I'm going to actually want to go in. So if I hit, if I play this right now, you can see the sky, the star is scaled really small. So I might want to, um, let me stop that. I would probably want to go in and modify these temp attributes. The temp attributes are um, the X scale and the Y scale. So I might want to say, um, you know, 100% uh, like plus the temp. So now let's take a look at that. So now we should have our star back and we can see that it's pulsing above 100% um, plus the audio signal. We could even, we could do other things with that. We could like multiply the audio signal plus one point. Um, there we go. Like multiply that. So now this will probably scale more in the uh, y direction because I'm adding one to the temp. So it'll scale 115% so in the y direction. So there we go. So I'm scaling it in a nonlinear format, which could be very useful and interesting in some formats. Um, the other thing I want to show is that we could do that even you know, maybe more subtly there. Um, we can also apply certain effects on different channels like um, so we've got this other shape here and we might want to apply like a brightness contrast on that and so we could do the same thing if we want to show the effect of brightness contrast on this layer if you hit the e key that will open up the effects palette so i'm going to do the same thing i'm holding down the alt key and we're going to tie that to the strings so Let's open up the strings and hit the U key and use the pick whip and 
there we go into the strings and now we will um, we should be able to get some brightness and we might want to we'll probably want to multiply that again times times something so let's see if we get a, a various so now you can see we've got the scaling a little bit more subtly than before although it's still scaling beyond the screen and we can also we're also driving the the brightness and and that's pretty much the way it works the in terms of the technical and what i would say is think as much as possible for making the for visual um, you know think about what sorts of sounds go with certain types of movement so in this case you know i would do you know we could maybe even have a particle emitter or something with the fx audio because it's got that really small tinkly noise or you know some brightness um, or whereas something that's loud and percussive like drums might be or deep like the um, you know you might want to like sort of make something scale um, but anyways, the sky's the limit, and thanks so much for watching.